Hello and welcome back to the 2022 Portland Open presented by Dynamic Discs. You are watching round four, final round, back nine, and you're watching it with Big Sexy, Nate Sexton, and Jeremy Colin. That front nine was a ton of fun. Garrett Gerthy putting on a move with that six under three putts outside the circle. Simon Lazat finishing with back-to-back birdies just to hold on to the lead with Garrett. We have a tie at the top, and they are six ahead of the next best. Isaac Robinson, Joel Freeman are there. I got a fellow commentator here sneaking into the top ten with a six under front nine, which is very awesome. And we have got nine holes left here in beautiful Portland. Hole 10, par 4, 710 feet. Get over this bunker and pick your gap between these two main ones. Get as much distance as you can, hopefully working the disc a little bit right of center eventually to set yourself up for the most open approach. Then you've got the golf green, the basket on the mound with the cart path beyond out of bounds inside circle one. for the Heiser flip play with his Halo Star Wraith getting out to the left side, not past that last string of trees, but should be fairly open. Simon getting this turned over. He's going to get a lot of distance off this. Yes. That's big and on that right side. I think that should be pretty simple. He is so dialed in with his drive right now. It is it is very fun to watch a player connected with their discs as much as Simon is with his right now. All similar spot as Garrett's, a little bit right of Garrett's drive. Isaac trying to match Simon's, but that's hard to do with a guy that's thrown over a thousand feet. <laughs> Unlucky to hit that low limb, but he's still in position to go for the birdie. Oh man. Yeah, some course maintenance with the backswing. Speaking of swing, oh, I wanted that to just Heiser. That thing was moving so fast. I think it had the perfect amount of weight behind it though I did not think it was in danger of going out of bounds long and it and it wasn't because it hit something Garrett ran into a bit of trouble on this green Ooh. Ooh. in round three but this time gets the forward skips and settles inside the circle great adjustment Paul going with the turnover looks to be Hanging on perfectly. No fade, no risk of that left side OB or long. Using the hill to slow the disc down. That's why you throw putter if you can. A lot of angle on this one. Simon just skipping off the green. He's going to have a little bit of a nervy putt from 30 feet or so. Oh, great effort for the elevated basket. With Garrett close, that putt would feel pretty, uh, pretty difficult for the average player. Simon, very cool, calm, and collected on that delivery. And Garrett and Simon are going back and forth, and this is awesome. 32 under. I think I would have I would have thought that'd be a winning score. And these guys still have holes to play. Really, really high level. 3rd easiest hole is a, is 10 and we are moving to the second easiest hole, the par 5. 1170 feet you've got a bunch of gaps to choose from off the tee you can really play this hole probably two great drives could easily be 400 feet apart oh sure way out yeah. to the right or way out to the left all of those are available and then you get the fun shot the second shot if you're in good position is just a downhill bomb you can see from this angle how steeply uphill that goes 
Just trying to get down into those trees in two if you can and set up a short approach to get the easy birdie. But these guys, oh, well, Garrett probably excluded from an eagle now. But if any of these guys get their drive through clean, they all have the power potentially, if they're playing really aggressive, to attack this thing and look for a three. Wow, I think Simon just escaped by the hair. Yeah on his teeth the, skin on his, the hair on his eyeballs yeah I, how he made a, might have missed his gap you think i think he definitely missed his gap he looked very hesitant on his release and yeah that was you see paul's body english that was a person who did not miss their gap that was just very smooth his release was comfortable a lot of anxiety on paul on simon's release but but in the end, I think Simon's in a. Oh. oh no! I think Simon's in a pretty good spot. Yes, he is. He's in a fantastic spot. And I believe Isaac and Garrett, if they can get some decent decent distance here, they're still in position. I mean, Isaac, that's just maximum distance yes. from that position off the tee. That's awesome. Yeah, I'd say you know outside chance at, at making birdie from there. He's that's probably what, what yeah. four four fifty to in. Yeah. Up, upper fours probably. Oh, but Garrett's got all the room in the in the world. Oh, look at the drift. Oh my gosh. This is why people come to watch you play, Garrett. Look at this thing go. This is why people watch you play disc golf, Garrett. <laughs> that was so big. Oh my to the gosh. bottom of the hill practically. And I in maybe into the group in front of him. <laughs> That was extraordinary. That was probably oh, six. What do you think? 50. 650, 700 yeah, feet? It had to be. With the downhill? Who else does it like that? Who else has a disc move that far right for that long? Paul, Without, Paul's got a chance here looking yeah, at that. Mm -hmm. And if Paul's got a chance, then this guy definitely has a chance. Oh, he doesn't even really have to go big. Oh, that's just oh, it's too flippy. Oh, yeah, turn that one and who would have thought that the advantage would be Garrett by a couple hundred feet after Simon and Garrett's drives were had come to rest on, after the second shot. Sure. Yeah, Isaac. gets around. Okay. We're talking here. Wow, that what a phenomenal birdie this would be. He hit the first tree on a yeah. nearly 1200 foot hole. <laughs> and now two shots later He's absolutely in position to make a big putt. Oh my gosh, look at that thing just keep turning. That is such a work of art. Fairly simple looking shot, but it's still pretty to watch a slow drifting putter. If you play the hole perfectly as a top tier distance person, that's where you are after two perfect shots. And Garrett hit a tree hard. Yeah. <laughs> on his tee. That's just insane. Paul for Eagle. Oh, he hates it. What? What a birdie. Wow. That's crazy. What a way to end the par streak. He just went... I mean, he had to have covered... 1,050 feet. His drive did not go more than about mm -hmm. 100 feet. And the next, yeah, the next two shots. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Paul with an apprehensive feeling birdie. Or maybe that's not the right word. Is that kind of reluctant? <laughs> maybe, yeah. I mean, certainly certainly looking for more. Yes, that's what I mean. He's, he's just, he knows that he doesn't care about second, he doesn't care about third, he doesn't care about fourth or fifth, he only cares about one thing, so the eagle is his only option. Birdie doesn't, doesn't do him enough. But we did have an eagle. Albert Tom, five feet. Wow. Again, another tap in eagle. In, in just, that's awesome. It's so crazy, that's the third time in a row now where we've had a single eagle in the field in all via the tap in bullseye that's crazy yeah. you would expect it to be an 80 footer oh no that was a huge bounce back for garrett that didn't have, miss right that, you know oh well no i don't know okay because i i get confused about the rules about hitting the mandatory trees the they, new rules make it a little bit weird to be I, honest I'm with the not, plane but he didn't cross the plane yep i agree he and, will i think he'll be very happy to have hit that tree well you know he did cross the plane 
Yeah, Simon. From Germany. He the, crossed on he a crossed plane. He crossed yeah. on a plane to yeah, come up definitely. here and just whoop up on everybody in disc golf for a couple weeks in a row. Yeah, I think he had the boat ticket bought but got a refund, thankfully, because he never would have made it in time. <laughs> That's how you draw it up, folks. Beautiful shot. I love the follow fight on the roller. Getting all every little bounce. <laughs> it's awesome. Paul just going to do the traditional way. Just. Oh, the one thing. I thought he was through. There was one thing left, and, and Paul unable to miss it. This is quite high. And a little bit of a redirect, but that's going to be out there in that 55, 60 foot range. But man, going back to Garrett's great break, if that stays on the tree or goes right, no chance he could save the par. Or very little chance. And now he's still going to have to work a little bit for it. But a good effort. The mistake there is to hit one of those early trees and, and leave yourself 40 feet. Garrett did well to avoid that and go long. Oh, Paul. Let's go. You there it is. is. That was nasty. <laughs> Completely blind. He had to move to the right to see it. What a putt. Oh. And I mean, don't look now, but that's five in a row. Well, I'm looking. It's an easy stretch of the course. I'll say that. But, but five in a row is five in a row. That was a nasty. Put that one on the end of season highlight reel. Put them both on. Oh, Put yes. them both on. That is awesome. Oh, my goodness. This card has covered so much ground in putting this round. Garrett with... So many from outside the circle, and Isaac now with a couple of bombs. The last two holes. Oh, this is great. Huge putt for Garrett. You cannot lose two. Nicely done. Yeah, the work is showing. It's paying off. He's going to lose a stroke to Simon, but not two. It's been a while since Simon's had... The outright lead. He had it for a while, and then Garrett made that run, and he's been battling. They've been going birdie, 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 birdie. Finally, Simon breaks through, gets one back. This is definitely the type of hole you can take a stroke from a rival. This is tough. Really well guarded, 455 feet. Not that the distance really is that much of an obstacle to these guys, but the entry point to this green, I think, super, super easy to hit a tree 70 feet short and have almost nothing. Talk about reversals and score difficulty. Hole one going from the the hardest hole to the 15th. Uh -huh. This one went from the second easiest to the eighth hardest. I, nothing makes sense. Yeah, it really doesn't. And neither does Simon's drive. That's, that was great. Makes sense. It's just It makes a lot of sense. Paul just throwing this thing what appeared to be 50%. Let's see if 50% is too much. It's not too much. It's just right, like Goldilocks would say. This gap is too small. This gap is too big. I've never seen a gap too big. And Isaac says this gap is just right. Why is this hole looking so easy? I did. I did. I maintain that I did great commentary when I said this was the kind of hole that would kind of be a score separator, and these guys are just. Well, oh, there's the tree. There yeah. might be the tree. Near. Yeah, it was just in line the whole way. It yeah. Kind of knew it was coming. Somebody's got to hit those. They're too big. There's too many of them. This guy does have a Sonic though. <sighs> Good effort. Yeah. But it does look like he might fall too behind. Isaac, unfortunately coming up pretty short. Ooh, just over the rim, two shot lead and six birdies in a row now for Simon Lazat. He put together a six stroke or six birdie streak in round three as well. He likes going on these runs. But I also don't know of any person in the world that doesn't like that in those kind of runs. They just don't have the skill to do it. <laughs> and most people don't know if they like it or not. I'm willing to find out at some point. I don't remember my last six-hole birdie streak. 
It has been. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'd like it. I, I, uh, 2013, I think. Come on, I man. <laughs> Macbeth also on one of those double turkey runs. I heard uh, Philo and Ian talking about what what do you call a double turkey? And they started calling it a turducken, but that's that would be three sets of three in a row. That's this is just a turduck. <laughs> in three more, and we can give them the turduck in. Oh, 14. <laughs> great. Bar four, 845 <laughs> feet. This one is a treacherous drive. The more you want to push it to the right to kind of eat into that 845 feet of distance, the more you risk OB, the more you risk missing the initial gap and getting yourself in trouble. Simon showed us he was going to play the safer line. Uh, way out wide. It doesn't feel safe. That feels ridiculously gigantic. It's gigantic. And it's also oh. out oh. of bounds. He overturns it. So not safe. In the end, Simon. You see, you see him say, how is that OB? Well, there's an OB line on the right side. And you uh, went if, right If Simon it. was OB, this is OB. Yeah, this needs to cut or hit a, a turducken and roll back in. It does not. Wow, both of them overcook it. So OB right. Wow. Oh boy. Okay, so doors open. Garrett couldn't have seen a bigger gift. Yeah, especially after going down two shots. And this is a very conservative tee shot for Garrett. That is not going for a lot of distance, but you don't need to if you have the power that Garrett has. Yeah. But he's going to be well outside. He's got to be five hundred. He's got to be four seventy-five at least. Oh, I, think. I would say upwards. Of, I would. That would be incredible if he wasn't. This is. Oh no. This was a. Wasn't coming back in bounds either way. But that does definitely not feel good to see a, a spectator get an umbrella hit. Whoa! Whoa! And that didn't. He he's going to hardly move up. He's got to be throwing next. The yeah, ice, he's up again. Wow. And the rain just kind of came out of nowhere, huh, Nate? Yeah, that's that's how it was out there. Heavy when it was going. And Paul is, oh boy. No way. Oh no. Triple OB. Well. Oh, that's damage. a nightmare. It's going to be hard to, to reclaim any sense of control over this round at this point. I mean, after six birdies in a row, yeah. he's going to give almost all of most up. of that back right yeah. now. This is going to be a big number. And Garrett, a huge opportunity to gain at least a stroke. If he can get a birdie here, the best Simon can do is par. But Simon has his hands full to do that. Fighting off a lot of distance off the tee, making this approach much more manageable. But there's those trees that block the entryway, so Simon's got probably an even longer putt than Garrett does for his par while Garrett's sitting there looking at a birdie. Very high for Isaac, crashing through, so that'll be a bogey. Nice recovery shot. Can Paul get into the green? He's still not in an easy spot. No, he's got a lot of work left, really. Going to have to miss some trees here. And this is going to be one of those scores that Udis is going to have to give us stats in the future. It's been so many holes since Paul last time took one of them. I mean, these. what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and putting eight. Yeah, that's... Uh... What do the Finns call the snowman? I it's something like Lumi Oko or Lumi yeah, Oso think, or something like that. Yeah, I think like that's that. right. They don't call eight. They don't say uh, the number eight for their score. I hope I didn't say something vulgar. <laughs> so Simon's par attempt is off, and his bogey-free round is over. And Lumioco. I think I said that. Yeah, you, and yeah. also something else. Yeah, I said Lumioso, which I think is 
a magic spell in Harry Potter, and Lumioko, which is a snowman. Wow. An eight, two sixes, do two fives, and a par for Garrett. So cl- takes one back. And it's a one stroke game again on two. 15, one of the course designer's favorite holes in the course. Yeah, it's a beautiful hole. You've got your options straight ahead backhand that Garrett's going to show us. And then either flex is also uh, workable, the forehand or the backhand. Garrett pulls us a bit right and kicks. Does this stay in bounds? Left. Yes. Wow. Good. That was just a, a, about six inches from perfection. And now, Simon, an opportunity. Whoa to do something I didn't know. That's the flex that you're talking about? There's, I think that was more. Flex. There is one, but I don't think it's that extreme. Okay. I'm unfamiliar with that line. Isaac just likes to do this thing. Just throw it dead straight. I love it. Inside the circle or right around it. This is going to need a little help on the backside, otherwise another out of bounds. Man. A lot of space out there, apparently. Okay, that's pretty cool. Garrett said it, right? Was that Garrett that said go in? I think so. If and Garrett's saying it. Yeah, you know it's on a good line. That's the only person that matters to say it. Isaac, an opportunity for the only birdie, and he connects. 26 under. I'll say it again. What a week for this young man. It's been awesome watching him. And Beth wheels that one over the rim and in. Three to go. Simon, one shot advantage over Garrett. Hole 16, par three, 410. Tight gap to start. There's a low backhand hyzer available to the right. There's backhand roller if you want to go around the outside, or there's the backhand or the forehand right up the middle. I couldn't tell if it had the drift from that initial camera angle, but it does have enough to get in the shopping neighborhood. He'll be shopping for gifts to deliver. Oh yeah, that's right. That was a bit of a stretch, sorry. Here is that low hyzer and he gets under the ceiling just barely. I need to slow down a bit. It's that's yeah. good. That's good. It's very good. Well executed. I'm guessing Simon is going to go that same roller line, or at least attempt. And this one is pushing the limits of the width of the inside of the fairway, but this is going to roll long. It's going to come back for a long look. So a good shot, but still, I mean, that's the same thing as coming up 50 feet short. Sure. Or 50 feet right or left. But it's cooler, though. It's way cooler to go long. It's, let's be honest, folks. Oh. Looks like some of those limbs are moving a bit in the background. Is the wind still kind of picking up? And Yes. Yeah. Okay. A good effort for Simon as the door is wide open for Garrett. But first, we have another long birdie look for Isaac. The dude's a, he's a this is a superhero. You don't see the cape, 
the putting has been so impressive. I mean, everything, but just the frequency with which he's chains or in yep. from 60 That's feet. Awesome. That wasn't quite 60, but you know what I mean. It's been phenomenal. That is huge. Whoa. Garrett clutch putt to tie it back up with two to play. Dude is cool. Paul into a birdie. Garrett's got that swagger. He is, I mean, just total confidence is exuding from the way that he is putting and the way he's playing. It's fantastic. This tournament coverage is sponsored by Fortnite. A new season starts this week. Check it out in the link pinned in the comment. Unbelievable stuff from Paul McVett. Looking at 17 here. Par 4, 830 feet with OB line left and right. I think the toughest thing about this hole is the approach shot if you don't penetrate into this forest right here because there's a lot of difficult little lines tough technical 100 foot to 150 foot shots so let's see who can get through cleanly there set up birdie looks bogey is definitely in play if you're not very far into those last woods that's big isaac huge shot and garrett with once again the momentum on his side See how much distance he is able to cut off here. Just needs to avoid these big obstacle trees and he does so well. I, I don't know if I could have picked a better tournament to cover blind, Nate. This has been an exciting round to watch. That's just the biggest understatement. It's just been amazing. A really good battle brewing here. Paul doesn't have quite as much turn as he'd like, and I don't think he was in any danger of going out of bounds, but a little bit of help back in the right direction. Whoa. Crazy kick. Okay. So advantage obviously going to the player closer on this nightmarish approach with all of these low limbs and big trees in the way. Yeah, advantage Garrett, but Simon can flip that pretty quick with a great shot here, though I wouldn't call this great. I think it's, it's the, good. It's in the good category. But it's not great, and he still might have work from there. There's some awkward angles. Nice shape for Paul's approach. Can it avoid all of them? It certainly can. Nicely done. Isaac, a little overturned. Not a bad shot by any means. Um, and now we've got one of the most yeah. important shots of the day yeah. because it's obvious what's at stake here. Simon is not birdieing this hole. Can Garrett work this through? Oh, oh, he's oh, over okay. in near near yeah. the same position as Simon. The way that kicked, I I, oof, I thought at first that that sidewalk could be in danger. So look, he's forced to go to a forehand. Yep. This is what I'm talking about. The the approach just a little awkward. He does great with yeah. it though. Nice touch. 
Those ABRX3s are one of Garrett's staples. Simon makes a bid at it. Yes, he does. That is certainly no layup. If they are able to clean up their short par putts. Oh, what is, I don't know. Come on, man. I, I'm over it. I'm <laughs> Incredible. So over it. I, I was excited by it a little while ago. Um, it's because just more it was, of a jealousy thing now. I'm now, you know, I'm totally annoyed now. I think that it's it's no longer fun for me to watch him make all these putts. You're <laughs> he's having, having fun. Yeah, he's having fun. Great for you, Isaac. <laughs> no, this is incredible. <laughs> what what a performance. Oh, Paul, just a bit low. Huge, Big putt. Huge putt. Delivers. It's looking like. Pending this one right here. We're going to 18 tied up, and what a hole it is. I mean, this my palms are so sweaty right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. This is live for you, man. Yeah, this is live. I am watch. I I feel like I could give them the commentator's curse, even though this is well past the point <laughs> this is just an incredible yes. finishing hole for this scenario totally. because that pond right there i gotta think both of them are gonna go over in one mm -hmm. but it's a small landing zone you've got the two mandatory trees on the right side that force you down the left if these guys can get to that landing zone that the graphic is showing us on the far side of the pond and inbounds then it's a big decision who's up first who's going to dictate the shot, you know, who's going to dictate whether it's an eagle play? Unlikely, I think, but it could happen. Or are they chipping up and trying to go for birdie? The drive, so important right now. Isaac making a smart decision to play this one shorter than he did in round three. But like you said, this is match play all the way from here on out. Garrett goes big. Does this thing fade? <gasps> Does it fade in time? It's very I think big. it is. I think it is. Yeah. Yes, it does. That is huge. Big pressure on Simon. Paul's got this so high and drifting simultaneously. This is looking to, yeah. I was, Just barely clears it. It was too close to make a definitive call either way, but does clear it. And this is this is huge. An out of bounds shot here. Garrett can play safe. Ooh. This is looking left. Needs a sit. Oh, never mind. Just oh, fine. Oh my gosh. I don't think he liked it. I mean I, he went down, yeah, down to it. it on his knees there after he let the thing go. I think it was a little bit early on the release, and I think that without getting that turn he was looking for. Isaac going to go turn over here. Needs to just get this down. It looks like he will, and I think Simon is going to be first between Simon and Garrett. Oh, sure. Yeah. He must be. He's, he's way left. You can see the rain coming down. Of course it would. I mean, what else could you do to build the drama? A little bit of adverse conditions. The wind's kind of blustery good shot from Macbeth now how aggressive does Simon play this backhand keeping the disc protected driver seems aggressive it, yeah is, wow is he he's going turnover to the green oh my goodness out of bounds, and with Garrett so far off the tee, he can just go pitch up, pitch up, and force Simon to have to throw it in. Garrett to the forehand, but this <gasps> is wide. Oh my gosh. This is out. Garrett. Huge so, mistake. And now the advantage is back to Simon because the bogey, or the par play is easy for Simon. Not easy for Garrett. Garrett doesn't get to advance very much. I am so surprised to see him not go with the backhand turnover with the Rock 3. That's just 
That is his go-to for the turnover shot all... Wow, I am I am so shocked by that play. He's going to it now. He's got to come up He has clutch. to get this parked. And he's left this out left and short. That is a 50-footer. Oh, my goodness. Simon now knows that he can just put this one up close and have a great chance of walking away with a par taking it. Oh, my heart is sick right now. I mean, not necessarily picking favorites, but just the, the situation that Garrett had an opportunity to, to take advantage of that, the mistake that Simon made. Trying to play safe and failing to do it. Oh, that's the, that's the hardest thing in the sport. And Simon gave a little fist bump because he knows. I mean, this isn't over. It's We've seen G certainly. hit big putts today. Yep. But he's got the low ceiling, and he doesn't have a chance to do his normal putt. He's going to have to throw this. This is must make. And that's going to wrap it up. What a battle. What a roller coaster. And the professionalism from Garrett, yeah, too. He's got to be crushed right now. Absolutely. Absolutely. After the table was you know, somewhat set for him. And bogey free all day long until that point. Wow. It's going to be Simon winning back to back. <laughs> what a month. After taking, what, a four-year hiatus elite, from uh, the podium? Yeah, from the Elite Series. Or not the podium, but for, from the top spot. Top spot, yeah. Uh, and and the, the sport of disc golf is good no matter who wins. Uh, it, and it's going to prosper regardless. But Simon is up there at the very top of fan favorites. And when he wins, we all win. And the same for Garrett. I mean, everyone loves Garrett. And what a player. And like you said, the professionalism is top notch. And the battle was just one for the ages. Absolutely. I mean, just look at the margin. Look at Paul yes. McBeth at 25 under. Yeah. These guys put on such a show. Totally. And obviously a lot of respect. Huge both respect. ways between those guys. Simon to win it. Wow. Uh, that right there. Oh my goodness. I chills, folks. If you don't have chills, then you might not know these guys well enough, but that is a lot of love and a lot of skill. And another <laughs> round of hand <laughs> high fives Here for he Simon. Goes. Oh, awesome. I'm out of breath. I was, I was so nervous the whole round. Garrett played amazing, made every freaking putt you could make. That was crazy. And uh, I don't know with my game right now, it just it's all just working. The bad shots are getting lucky and the good shots are getting good results. This gallery is European style. This is absolutely Unbelievable. This is by far, this might be the biggest gallery I've ever played in front of, the love. My heart's like going 180 right now, I can't even think. Portland, I love you! <laughs> I believe the quote is, I love you, Portland. Oregon. Uh, Oregon, uh, okay. But, you know, different strokes for it's, different folks. It's the, that's the new quote. I yeah. mean, Simon, if you could have told him that he could go one over in the last five and win this, I, I don't think he would have believed you. I guarantee you he wouldn't believe that. That is incredible that that is what it took to get it done. And I'm sure he thought he lost Yeah. when he, when he put that out of bounds on the right side. Congratulations to you. Top 10 with a fire emoji nine under. Hey, man, I, it's been Hot a little while round. since I had a fire emoji next to my name. I love it. Thank you guys so much for joining in this week. This has been a wonderful event to cover. Just a beautiful venue. The rain can go away next year, but everything else can stay because this was great. Yes, it was. I had a blast. Congratulations to Simon and congratulations to Garrett as well for just both playing at the very top of their game. What a joy for us to be able to watch it and bring you guys the coverage. Thanks to the Founders Club. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And we're going to see you guys next time. Big Sexy, signing off.
We'll see you at the Preserve Championship in a couple of weeks. Thank you.